Look, I'm going to be honest here. I underestimated how good LaMelo Ball would be coming into the NBA. I had him behind the likes of Killian Hayes and James Wiseman coming into the draft. And during the course of the season, he has overtaken both of those guys and planted himself firmly at the top of the Rookie of the Year race. Coming into the league, there were question marks about his shooting, his defense and even his character. Lamelo now ranks third amongst rookies in terms of minutes, on a Charlotte Hornets team looking to make a push for a playoff berth. That's a testament to how much confidence the coaching staff has in him, and more importantly, how much he's contributing to winning basketball. Ball's impact has been so much more positive that he was moved into the starting lineup for the Hornets relatively early in the season. We should also remember that this season, rookies had no summer league and abbreviated training camps. What's more, Lamelo was the third youngest player to be drafted in last year's draft. From my point of view at least, Lamelo's performances so early in his NBA career have been a big surprise. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the youngest of the Ball Brother clan and try to find out why he's been so good. Let's start off with the offensive side of the ball. What immediately stands out is Lamelo's feel for the game. After a loss to the Hornets earlier this season, coach Tom Thibodeau said, the way he sees the game, that's a gift. Much like his brother, he has an eye for a pass of the grab and go. I mean, some of these touchdown passes are ridiculous for a teenager. This has resulted in the Hornets ranking third in fast break frequency and second in points in transition, according to NBA.com. But his repertoire includes more than just this. He loves a behind the back pass, but I think I love watching them more. And he's deceptive with his eyes, pulling defenders into thinking he's going to take a shot before sneakily finding a teammate. Lobs are also an option with him, and when you've got a ferocious dunker like Miles Bridges on his team, you better bet he'll end up on more than a few highlight reels. The biggest question mark surrounding Ball coming into the season was his shooting ability. Lamelo has quickly silenced those concerns. As this chart shows, his 3 point percentage isn't particularly outstanding, but the fact that he's able to maintain that percentage on a higher volume is. The shot is far from perfect. His legs have a mind of their own on some of these, but it's a lot smoother now. Interestingly enough, he's averaging fairly similar percentages on catch and shoot threes and pull up threes, on more or less the same volume. Only Anthony Edwards and Emmanuel Quickly attempt more pull up threes, and only Quickly and Halliburton make more of these per game. This is really encouraging, as this skill is of vital importance for ball handlers as it means that if defenders choose to go under screens, they will be punished. This immediately puts defenses at a disadvantage. Lamelo also shoots a lot of mid-range floaters. While a few of these do go in, he hasn't been very efficient at making them. And as any basketball nerd will tell you, the shot is not an optimal one numbers-wise. I'm not saying he should completely remove it from his arsenal. In fact, it can be very useful in select situations. What I am saying is, he needs to look for more efficient ways of scoring. Lamelo always looks to control with the ball in his hands, and while he does have some moments where he can be a little wild with the ball, those moments are slowly becoming less and less. Something we didn't see a lot of before the NBA was his ability to get around defenders, but it's definitely something he's developed. He now can drive past defenders, force defenses to collapse, and play make out of that. His finishing at the rim does leave a lot to be desired though, and if this can improve, will open up even more passing options in the future. On the defensive end, Lamelo still needs to put in some work, but the physical tools are still there. The big difference for Ball this season has simply been more effort. He's also been very active as an on-ball defender more often, and he's able to use his quick hands and 6-9 wingspan to good effect. He does lack in the strength department, but speaking from experience, who doesn't at 19? There's enough time for him to fill out and get stronger, and as this happens, his impact on the defensive end will increase. 
Overall, I'm super excited about Lamelo's future. He has a lot of potential and has shown so much improvement already in his short NBA career. And I can't wait to see what the future holds for him. So that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please politely tap that like button. And if you are new around here, I'm going to be posting more NBA content now. So please subscribe if you did enjoy. And until next time, it's been your boy, Zachary McAllister. Have a good day.